Hello TMI 2020. Welcome all my amazing and incredible dancers. I am super excited to be going on this journey with you this week of learning to dance non-traditionally in our homes. But that doesn't mean that the artistry and the skill level is any less. Actually, we're going to push it even further this week and I'm super excited to see what God has in store for us. Um, we're talking about peace this week and I think now more than ever um, we are in desperate need of God's peace in this world and in our own hearts and um, I just pray that this would be a blessing to each of you as we're going throughout the week taking our daily technique classes as well as starting to choreograph um, and we're gonna do some fun choreography exercises this week where you guys will eventually be filming your own site-specific dance films. Yes, you heard me, site-specific. Now that doesn't just mean going outside and filming something cool. We're gonna go through the step-by-step -step process of how to become your own movement narrative storyteller. What does this mean? We'll dive more into that later. But I just want to first open with this scripture. Um, just, uh, I really encourage you, just close your eyes right now. Um, and we're just going to let the scripture uh, speak over us. And then we're going to pray. And then um, we're going to head into some dancing. Okay. So this is from John 16, 33. Jesus answered them, Do you finally believe? In fact, you're about to make a run for it saving your own skins and abandoning me. But I'm not abandoned. The Father is with me. I've told you all this so that trusting me, you will be unshakable and assured, deeply at peace. In this godless world, you will continue to experience difficulties, but take heart, I have conquered the world. Such good news. <laughs> Let's just pray, close your eyes. Heavenly Father, we just thank you, God, so much that you have conquered this world. Lord, we thank you, God, for the peace that you provide. In the midst of everything going on um, outside of these four walls of our safety of our homes, Lord, even within our homes, God, we thank you, Lord, that you provide peace and a deep understanding of your Holy Spirit, God. We ask, Lord, that this week would just bring life and um, joy and a refreshing sense of your love, God, to each of these dancers, Lord, and that you would just move in us and through us, Lord, and that your name would just be praised, God. We love you and we give you all the honor and the glory and the praise that's due to your name. In Jesus' name, amen. Awesome. Okay, so just a few ground rules for dancing in your home. What floor are we working with? Are we working with carpets? Are you downstairs in your basement? Are you on cement floors? Are you in your kitchen floor? Um, take note of where you're at and be aware of what shoes you're wearing on your feet. I really encourage you if you're working on carpets, probably you should wear a pair of socks uh, just to avoid carpet burn or um, any turns that we might be working on. It's quite difficult on carpet. So um, I encourage you to wear socks. If you're in the kitchen on tile floor, probably bare feet will work best as it can be super slippery. If you are um, turning in the kitchen, you're doing four pirouettes, you might just slip <laughs> and we want to prevent as many injuries as possible. If you're working on something like cement floor, I actually really encourage you to wear either sneakers, tennis shoes, or jazz shoes, something with a little bit support. Um, I've, I've made the mistake of dancing on cement floors and just flat ballet shoes and I got really bad shin splints this past spring. So have some kind of support underneath your feet and make sure that you're okay. Second of all, if you've been dancing a lot like I have in quarantine, you can realize it's a little bit hard with spatial surroundings. So make sure that you have enough space no matter where you are. Um, try not to kick your fridge when you bop ma to the side. Try not to <laughs> run into your bed when you're doing double fuete pirouettes. Um, just be very aware of your spatial surroundings and you kind of have to take that into consideration. And lastly, I want you guys to have fun. Just have fun. Sometimes it's really hard to feel 
motivated to take online uh, dance classes when you're by yourself. I know firsthand. So really take this experience as um, something to do for yourself and more importantly, this is for you and the Lord. Yeah, so take this hour long class as a time of um, not just movement and physical um, exercise, but also just a time to exercise your, your relationship with the Lord. So I really encourage you guys with that. So now that all the rules have been laid, um, we're heading into our first technique class of the day. Today is Monday, so you will be taking a ballet bar. So the schedule will be Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. You'll have a ballet technique class. Tuesdays and Thursdays, we'll have contemporary. And then at the end of every class, I will give you a little homework assignment where you will be um, led on a journey of choreographing your own site-specific dance film. So stay tuned, hold on tight, go grab your water, go grab your uh, preferred dance shoes, and grab your ballet bar. Okay, let's dance. Good morning, everyone. Alex Griswold, I'm from the NSC division, um, and I'm gonna be taking you guys through a warm up, really get you guys ready to be doing whatever Kellen has for you, which I know will be great. So just follow along. Uh, it's gonna be pretty simple. Yeah, let's go. Okay, so. We're going to start in a butterfly position. Push your knees down. If you want to get a little extra stretch, you need to. Make sure you're really sitting up straight here and not slashing back on your hips and really up on that. Now let's come forward. Once again, you're sitting up really straight and reach forward, grab your toes. Okay, come up again and now point your toes and for more of a stretch. Try going down, keep your back as straight as possible, for as long as possible, and really focus on getting your shins towards your knees. I'll come up again. Now you're going to take your left hand, grab your right foot, and bring it out. You're going to sit up really straight. If you want, you can put your hand out. If you need to balance, put your hand down. You're going to feel this along the back of your leg and kind of the side here. So place that leg down. Take your right hand, grab your left foot, do the same thing. Make sure you're keeping your shoulders down too. Take that down. We're going to cross our right leg over our left. Do a twist, try and loosen that back up a bit. Do the same to the left. We're going to take our left arm and reach over to our right foot. Make sure that you're keeping those shoulders forward and you're not crunching yourself. And you're also pushing that left hip down and not rising it up like that. 
feel it pushing down, so you're going to feel that pull along your side. Come up and do the same to the left. Make sure you really push in that right hip down. Come up and reach down as far as you can to the center. Make sure you're keeping those knees to the ceiling and not letting your legs turn in. And once again, to really get a good stretch, don't hunch your shoulders over, really push for it straight back and get your chest towards the floor. Really push those heels towards the floor, walk it out a little bit. And take that right leg and extend it upwards. Now bring it forward for a lunge. Just really make sure that you're having that knee directly over your ankle. And that back leg is extending as much as it can. Let's straighten both of those legs. Make sure this left hip isn't um, all out and up, but your hips are square. It's going to feel like if you're pushing it down a bit more. that lunge, turn out that right foot, put your elbows down. Straighten both your legs. Remember to keep your hips nice and square. Back down to that lunge. Turn out that left foot and elbows. Hands 
back to your feet. Let's go up here. And take eight counts and slowly roll up through the spine. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Shake it out for a second. I'll come to a nice second position. Yeah, second plie. Bring out here. And push that right shoulder forward. Now your left. Now center again. Come up. Shake it out. Now really quick to end this out, we're gonna do some stuff to engage our core. Um, so we're gonna do some crunches. Just a really quick, simple circuit. So remember, when we're doing crunches, hands behind the head, make sure the elbows are out, you're not tucking in. Make sure your elbow is up so you're not um, straining your neck. And those shoulder blades are really coming off the floor. So we're gonna do eight crunches, just normally here. Bring the legs up to a tabletop, eight here. Straighten the legs, eight here. Come out to a straddle, eight here. We're gonna reverse it. Eight up, eight tabletop, eight down. I'm gonna come up, do hold for a quick second, stretch it out, and then that'll be it. So, let's do these crunches. Start out, just eight regular. Five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, tabletop, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, legs up, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, straddle, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, legs up, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, tabletop, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, last eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Stretch out your body real quick. Really elongate and come up. Head back. Now slowly release down. Hold. Really engage that core and breathe through it. Go down a little bit further. A little bit further. And then release. Elongate. One more time, come up. And breathe through it as you're going down. Hold. A little bit further. A little bit further. And release. Roll towards your stomach. And stretch it out. Back to nice child pose. Hope you're all feeling nice and warm and stretched and everything is ready to go. Have a good day. Awesome. So we are going to start with a ballet bar today. If you could please find either a bar stool, a kitchen chair, or a ledge of a dresser. I want you to find something that is sturdy that you can hold on to. I have my trusty ballet bar here, which comes from my kitchen table. And um, what we'll do for the right side, you'll have your left hand on the bar on the right side, and then on the left side, what you do is you turn your chair, and then we begin the left side. Okay, so we're going to start 
on the right side. So my left hand will be on my bar, my chair. And I'm going to start in first position, heels together, toes apart. We're going to start with a demi plie. This is preparation five and six. Open seven and a demi plie one. And stretch, demi plie two. And stretch, grand plie all the way down. Five and six and a seven and eight. Porta bra forwards and one. Two, rolling up, three, four, backwards, five, combre back, six, seven, time to second. We go demi plie and stretch, demi plie and stretch, grand plie, all the way down, five, six, and seven, eight, towards the bar. We go one and two, three, and four away from the bar five six seven tendu to fifth we go demi plie and stretch again demi plie stretch grand plie all the way down five six seven a circular porta bra one two three four five six, seven, eight, we'll rise into susu. We're gonna balance, balance, balance. Open the arms to second position. Plie, tendu back to first position to finish. Great, let's try that with music. Here we go. Seven. Eight. Here we go. Then it's the one. Two. Three. Four. Porter bra forwards and one. Roll up to the back. Second position, demi plie one, two, grand plie, all the way down. Quarter bra to the side, away from the bar. Fifth position, and one. Circular porter bra. Susu and balance. And finish back to first position. And hold. Great, good job. Okay, let's go left side. So you're going to move your bar to the opposite side. Now you'll have your right hand on the bar, left hand down on ba. First position, heels together, toes apart, and begin. Here we go. Seven, eight, demi plie, we go one. Two. Grand plie. Porter bra forwards. And back. Second. Demi. Grand. Towards the bar. Away. Fifth position. Mm -hmm. 
circular port of bra. Fifth position. Okay, now moving on to tondus. We're going to start in first position. It's a quick intro, so we'll just go seven and a tondu to the front. One and a two, three and a four. Tondu five, lift it off, put it down to the side. One, two, two mini developes, developé, developé. Close to the back, to the back. Same thing as the front back, lift it off, put it down, same thing to the side, side, developé, developé, and you'll repeat, front, 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 pick it up, put it down, to the side, to the side, developé, developé, to the back, to the back, to the back, pick it up, put it down, to the side, to the side, developé, Developé. Good, those developés will just come straight from first. So let's not cross over to feet, uh, fifth. Just keep it first, first. Good, from there we'll go port bra forwards. One, two, three, four, roll up, five, six, seven. Port bra backwards, swing the arm to the back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. From here, plie, rolling through, four starch. Gonna find our balance first position and then we'll come down and then we'll go to the left okay here we go seven eight one two pick it up put it down to the side develop a side side to the back one two three pick it up put it down to the side side Develop it. Repeat. Use the arm. One, two. Pick it up, put it down. Side. Develop it. To the back. Whoa. And lift it up. Two. To the side. Good. Port of our forwards. One, two, three. To the back. Five. Roll through four starch. Let go, balance. Nice, solid, strong core. And finish. Good. Left side. Good. I messed up the back there, but you got it. Here we go. Again, one to the side, to the back, lift it up to the side, develop a there we go. Forward up to the back, release the arm. Here we go, plie, rolling through, balance, nice and solid, and finish, good job. Okay, so now we'll be working on degage, so we're going to start with our right foot, we're going to do eight on the right side, eight on the left side, four on the right side, four on the left side, two, two, one, 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 one. So we're gonna go one and a two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Left side one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. To the right, two, three, four, two, three, four, two, 
two, and one, 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 one. From there, we're going to go plie, relevé, plie, relevé, four times, four. From here, we're going to shift over to our right side. We're going to take our left foot to coupe. We're going to try and balance. We're just going to let go of the bar, see if you can hold it, and then switch left side. So I'm in coupe. My foot is to the back of my ankle, so it should look like this. Yes, good. So when you decage, you want to make sure that we are not shifting our hips side to side. What we want to do is keep our hip bones nice and straight. In the decage, we have a nice straight knee. The knee should not bend whatsoever. Okay, here we go. Let's try. So we're going to start in first position, heels together, toes apart, preparation five and six, open the arms, seven and eight. We're going to do a nice slow grand round de jambe. One, open the arm, two, and a three, again, open four. You're just going to swing the leg front and back, five, six, seven, Eight, four normal round de jambes. One, da, da, two, da, da, three, da, da, four, da, da. From here, I'm gonna bring the foot to passe, front to back. Five, six, close, seven, eight. We reverse, so now the arm goes over the head. We're going back to the front. Again, back to the front. We swing back front, five, six, seven, eight. Four normal round jumps. One, two, three, four. From here, you gotta go through the back, back to front passe, releve, six, seven, eight. From here, we're just gonna hold it. Two, three, four, finish, five, six, close, seven, eight. Okay, let's try it. I have socks on because I'm on a kind of a tough carpet. So if you have socks or ballet shoes, that is much preferred. Here we go. Um. Front, back. Front, back. Rush front, back. Front, back. Around. Normal. Two, three, four. Passe. Front to back. Lower. Here we go. Back to front. Back. Front. Back. Swinging. Back. Front. Back. Front. Four. Normal. Passe. Back to front. Hold it. Test your balance, just go for it. See how long you can hold it. Good, and finish. Nice. Good, let's go left side. So switching your bar around. Left side, preparation, first position, heels together, toes apart. Seven, eight. We can go front, back. Swings, front, back, front, back. Four times around. Two, three, four. Pa 
all safe. Five, six, seven. Good. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Swing. Five, six, seven, eight. Four normal. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Holding, holding, holding. Testing your balance. Letting go to finish. Standing tall. Good job. Okay, so now we're moving on to grind We're going to put our left hand on the bar. We're going to go um, arms out to the side. Seven, eight. Come into the front one. Close. Two, degage. Three, and the four. Two grind bahamas. Five, and the six, and the seven. Eight to the side. Tendu. And close, degage three, four, grand up on five, and six, seven, to the back we go, tendu, and close, degage, and close, grand up on six, seven, eight. You're gonna brush out to the side on a 45 degree angle, and then you're gonna go five, swirl, six, seven, and eight. Left side, tendu one. And close, two, and close, grab my mom, three, and close, four, and close. To the side, tendu, degage, two grab my mom's, two grab my mom's. To the back, tendu, close, degage, close, grab my mom, five, six, seven, eight. To the side, swirl in, knee to the side, out, big brush, open, turn around, and finish. Okay, here we go. Hello, choreography day one. So what we're doing is we are creating site-specific dance films based on memories and um, experiences that we've had with God in the past. Why are we doing this? Well, since we are quarantined to our homes, why not? Two, we have the opportunity as dancers to tell stories through movement. How cool is that? I love it, I'm here for it, let's do it. So what we're gonna be doing or working towards the entire week is we are aiming to create our own site-specific dance film in the sense that you will choose a location based on the story that you're gonna be telling and you're gonna be the director, the producer, the choreographer, and the performer of your own dance film. Whoa, I know that sounds like a lot, that's kind of overwhelming. Yes, I know, but you got it, okay? So I'm gonna break it down day by day. I'm gonna give you a little bit of homework for each day. What you can do is you can take the last five to 10 minutes of this class period, or I highly encourage you to do this in your afternoon free time. So what you're gonna be doing is during your free time, I encourage you to use this as homework dance time. You're gonna use, I say, 10 to 30 minutes depending on how fast you work to cultivate a dance phrase every single day so today i'll start with your homework for monday and then each day i'll give you something different okay so for today what i want you to do is to grab a pen and a piece of paper what we're going to do is we are going to journal a story from our lifetime and what i want you to focus on is a story or a time period or a memory when you felt 
God's presence. So it doesn't have to be some crazy experience like the Holy Spirit hit you and you fell out and it was amazing. It can be <laughs> something like that or it can be something as simple as I was singing a worship song in my car and I felt the Spirit of God come close and near to me. So I want you to sit down, take maybe five minutes, just journal, get it out, just write it out. What was happening during this moment? Where were you? What were you looking at? What were the sights? What were the sounds? What were the smells? What were you touching during this moment? Get all the details out on paper. Good. So you can pause the video and then we'll come back. Okay, you should have paused it and now we're back. Now I want you to pick five words that stick out to you in your writing. I encourage adjectives and verbs. So you're just gonna circle them. So say I journaled about my experience where I felt God's presence, and then maybe I circled the word comforting, or peaceful, or scared. Yeah, so I'm gonna have five words, or it could be a verb, something as if kneeling, or lying down. Something like that. So pick five words. You're going to pause the video and go. Okay, you should be back. Did you pause the video? Yes? No? Okay. I'm trusting that you did. Okay, so now with those five words, you are going to create five shapes. So let's say I use the word comforting. This could be my shape, comfort. That's shape one. My second word is scared, whoo, shape two. Mind you, you'll get off the floor for it. I encourage full body movement. Play with your levels, high, low, medium. Is it a twisted shape, a curved shape? Where is it facing, front, back? Think about all of those things. So you should have journaled, circled five words, preferably adjectives and verbs, and then create five shapes based off of those words. Okay? Go.